Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Katie and I'm a full-time artist and illustrator and one of my income streams is Patreon. So today's video is all about creating a new display to showcase all my wonderful patrons. When we moved into this new office, I wanted to create something bespoke and more unique. So you might have seen in a lot of my previous videos, there was a post-it wall behind me. And I used to write on my new patron names onto these post-its and put them on the wall. And I just found it's a really nice way to visualize the community and I really enjoyed being able to welcome them in in that way. But for the new office, I wanted something different. I wanted something more unique and a really personal way to be able to show how much I appreciate my patrons. So I recorded the full process and this was quite a big undertaking. I definitely underestimated how long it would take, but it started with painting big. So I wanted to share the process for this because most of my artwork is done in my sketchbook and on a smaller scale. I have painted big before a few times, but this time felt quite different and it was mostly just a base because the main elements of the picture were going to be added on afterwards as the little drawings and icons represented my patrons. So the base layer was quite simple. I started with obviously a pink base. Um, that was just some house paint which I mixed up with a bit of red acrylic paint and I find that's a really cost effective way of using paint on a larger scale. And then I went in with my design and I actually didn't use any reference for this. This was just all done for my imagination. And I did do a few thumbnail sketches beforehand to work out the different elements I wanted in here. So we've got two trees, one on the left and one on the right. And then I wanted different elements of a landscape. So I added in some cliffs in the distance and the sea. And then the foreground has some stones, a little grassy area and a large pond. And for this, I'm just using acrylic paint again, mostly De La Rowney System 3 paints and some De La Rowney graduate paint. They're super cheap, I find them really affordable and that's what I use whenever I paint in acrylic. I'm also using a large brush which definitely helped to fill the space quite quickly. I did keep the acrylic quite thick. You can see here where I'm laying out different colours and that gives a really nice texture as well and it covers the paper really nicely. The paper I'm working on was just torn from a large cartridge paper roll and that is a really good way to get a larger piece of paper without taking it from like a sketchbook because a lot of the large sketchbooks I have are A3 whereas I wanted this to be a lot bigger. So I've moved to a smaller brush for some of the branch details but I do go back and forth between the brush sizes depending on what I'm painting here. You can see I'm just mixing my colours on a shoebox lid so there's definitely nothing fancy um, in my art studio, I do generally just use what I have around. A lot of the times with my gouache paintings, I do use the tear of palette sheets, but because with acrylic you can't re-wet it, I just use scrap pieces of cardboard. I wanted the background to be quite colourful, so I am adding in different colours here. So this one's a kind of yellowy green, and then the bushes behind I'm doing this purple colour, just to add a bit more interest, I didn't want it to be completely green and I really like the way this works with the green tones. Like I said, I did need this background piece to be quite simple and when I was finished with it, it did feel like it was too simple compared to some of my usual landscapes which have a lot of texture, but you'll see at the end why I needed it to be simple and I think it worked really well. So I'm really proud of the Patreon community that we have built up. It's definitely a large part of my working life as an artist and it's amazing to have this group of like-minded artists with me to create along together. I create videos and blog posts for them but we also do live streams together and so I really feel like I've got a strong connection with a lot of my patrons and so I really wanted to create something that was special and unique. I'm really appreciative of how they allow me to continue working as a full-time illustrator because of their financial support and I really did want to show my appreciation for every single one. So the idea behind this piece was to create a little drawing and icon for each person who joined and because I've had my Patreon for over a year now 
and this wasn't going to be a brand new display starting from when I started my Patreon. I wanted to include everyone who's part of my community currently and then anyone going forward. The beauty of this one is that obviously with Patreon people come and go and things change up quite regularly so I needed it to be a display that wasn't permanent. The background's obviously going to stay the same but I'm really interested in seeing how the full illustration changes depending on who comes and who goes and the elements that I take off and add on. The post-it notes were a really colourful way to display their names and the community in my old office but I did want something a little bit more illustrative and I think this way is a really nice idea to tie in the whole drawing community thing by drawing an individual element for each person who joins. Like I said I did have quite a large community before I started this project so there were going to be quite a few names to be added on first. So it wasn't like I was doing it straight from scratch and I think there were about 160 names that I needed to draw and add on to this piece so I knew that it would be quite full as it was. And I have filmed a separate video on my Patreon to show everybody their individual elements and I went through the final piece one by one and showed everybody their nameplate and who they represent on the painting. So I'm going in with gouache now just to add some more opaque details. I really love using gouache because it is so opaque and I find it really creamy and I wanted to cover up this sort of salmon pink hill that I put in. Obviously I was trying to add more colour to the landscape but it wasn't working so I just added on a gouache layer over the top and you can see that really layered on really nicely. I definitely think that was the right choice just to tone down that orange because there's already quite a few colours on there and I just wanted it to represent more of a natural field. I'm just using a smaller brush to fill in different areas, I'm adding a few more rocks to the pond. I hadn't massively planned out how this would work but I think it works nicely having different like habitats for the animals so obviously I can have things in the sky, in the trees, in the distance and obviously in the pond too. So now it's on to creating each of the nameplates for my patrons and again I'm just using the same cartridge paper and cutting out little discs and then each person has a completely unique drawing so there's lots of different bugs, different fish, different birds some elements in the sky like an aeroplane or a hot air balloon, some ships on the ocean and it's just a really fun way to make sure everyone's unique and show my appreciation and I also really enjoy drawing nature and so this just seemed like a display that worked well for me as an artist and I could share my love for my patrons. So you can see in this bowl there's lots of different drawings and it definitely took a lot longer than I thought but I do think the result was worth it, they're all in the same style and I labelled each one with their name. Where we do have a few duplicate names, I've put their surnames on the back so I know exactly who's who and I've been very organised with a spreadsheet so I can see who's who on my computer as well. And like I said, when people do leave then I can just take off their display name from the big piece and as new people join I'll create a new entry into the spreadsheet and draw something completely new again. That's another reason why the nature theme works so well because there are so many different species that can work in this picture. So I just added some blue tack to the back of these discs and I'm adding them onto the display. These are all my existing patrons, all of their wonderful names and as I get new patrons I'll add them on into the gaps. So this is how the end result looks. I really think these extra elements make it what it is. It wouldn't be a painting without these extra animals and bugs and drawings on the top and I think it works really nicely. It kind of reminds me of like a pin display and I think it works really well. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the process for me painting big and my new Patreon display. This is now on the wall behind my desk and it brings me a lot of joy seeing my community and also have a unique piece of art. So thank you so much for watching, if you do have any questions please do pop them down below but I will see you next week with a new video. Have a lovely week and I'll see you then. Bye.